Welcome to Sydney Tour Channel. We start our walk right smack in the middle of Sydney's buzz, Martin Place. You can't miss the grand old Australia post building, the GP. With its massive clock tower, right there, we're surrounded by history. Those buildings could tell some stories. As we head down George Street, the vibe shifts a bit. Shops of all shapes and sizes line the street, everything from high-end brands to quirky little stores. Keep an eye out for those buskers. Some real musical talent can get hidden amongst the crowds. At the Sydney GP, this grand old building, all sandstone and history is a sight in itself. You might even spot some folks sending postcards from their classic tourist moon. <laughs> now, it can get pretty busy, so watch out for the office crowd hurrying to meetings and tourists with their eyes glued to their maps. But that's part of the charm, right? You get a real feel for the city's energy. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for early access to new videos and exclusive content. Click the notification bell next to the subscribe button for the new videos. Ah, the Sydney light rail in the CBD. It's kind of a mixed bag. To be honest, let me break it down for you. On the bright side, pun intended, it's super convenient. You can hop on this tram-like train and zip up and down George Street, the main drag of the CBD. No more getting stuck in traffic. Plus, it runs pretty frequently so you won't be waiting ages for one to come along. Here's the thing though, the CVD isn't exactly massive, so sometimes it might be quicker to just walk it, especially if you get stuck waiting at a light rail stop, which can happen sometimes. Another cool thing, the trams are pretty modern, all sleek and clean, and they run pretty frequently, so you won't be waiting around for ages for the next one. Although, if you're short on time, maybe double check the timetable with a quick Google search before you head out, just in case. This giant Apple store you can't miss. It's like a shrine to all things iPhone, Mac, and Apple Watch. The whole place is super sleek and modern, with big glass windows and all the latest Apple products on display. It can get a bit crowded sometimes especially on weekends, but it's fun to just browse around and see what all the fuss is about. If you're an Apple fan, this is like Disneyland for you. They even have workshops and stuff where you can learn how to use all the fancy features on your iPhone or iPad. Pretty handy if you're a bit tech challenged like me. You'll be smack dab in the middle of Sydney's prime shopping district. Big name brands like Zara, H, and M, and Uniqlo all have stores here, so if you're looking to update your wardrobe, this is your zone. There are also smaller boutiques and department stores like Meyer and David Jones, so you can find all sorts of goodies here. Just be prepared to battle some crowds, especially on weekends. This is the Strand Arcade. A fancy little shopping mall from way back in the 1890s. Picture this, old Victorian style architecture with high ceilings, glass roofs, and those beautiful ornate details you don't see much anymore. It's like stepping back in time. The Strand Arcade isn't just about aesthetics though. It's got a cool collection of shops you won't find everywhere else. Think high-end fashion boutiques, fancy jewelry stores selling sparkly things that would make your eyes water in a good way, and specialty shops with unique gifts and treasures. It's a great place to find something special, whether it's a new outfit that'll make you stand out or a one-of-a-kind gift for someone you love. Plus, there are a couple of cute cafes in there if you need a break from all that shopping. Just be prepared, some of the stores can be a bit on the pricey side. But hey, window shopping is free, and you might just spot some amazing stuff Now, you'll hit a section of the door street that's all about gadgets and history. Think big electronic stores, walls of shiny TVS, shelves overflowing with the latest laptops and smartphones. It's a techie 
Noisy Paradox. And if you're looking for a new phone case or that perfect pair of noise canceling headphones, this is your zone. Around midday, George Street can become a bit of a feeding frenzy. Office workers spill out of their buildings, all on the hunt for a decent lunch. There are all sorts of options, though, from little holes to ball cafes to swanky restaurants. You might even find some food trucks parked inside streets serving up delicious and affordable eats. The vibe starts to shift as you walk. You'll see more towering office buildings, and the crowds get a bit denser. This is where Sydney's business district really starts to flex its muscles. Expect to see sharp suits, briefcases, and maybe even rollerbladers in business attire. It's a thing in Sydney. As we get closer to the QVB, the shops start to change. The big name brands slowly fade away, replaced by a more eclectic mix. There might be discount clothing stores where you can snag a bargain, funky up shops, charity shops overflowing with vintage finds, or even some ancient grocery stores selling interesting ingredients at affordable prices. It's a treasure trove for those who love a good deal or something a little different. We are now looking in the middle of Market Street since the State Theater. Now, this place is a real view. Imagine a grand old theater with a red and gold facade that looks like it belongs in another era. And now we're smack in front of the Queen Victoria Building, or the QBB as the locals call it. This place is pretty hard to miss. It's a massive building with a grand clock tower and fancy details that scream old-timey elegance. It's Friday night on George Street, Sydney. The weather has finally decided to cooperate, and it's that perfect cool kind of night. Instead of feeling like you're melting into the pavement, there's a crisp breeze that's just begging for a light jacket. The whole street is buzzing. People are everywhere, finally escaping the office for the weekend. Couples are strolling hand in hand, groups of friends are catching up after a long week, and everyone seems to have a little extra tap in their step. The city lights start to twinkle on as the sun dips low, making the whole place feel warm and inviting. Street performers are out in force, adding to the good vibes with their music or cheeky routines. You might even hear laughter spilling out from the cafes that have their tables overflowing onto the sidewalks. The smell of coffee and delicious food wafting through the air is enough to make your stomach do a happy dance. There's just this electric feeling in the air. Everyone's excited for the weekend can practically hear the plans being made for parties, getaways, or even just chilling at home in comfy clothes. The QVB is basically a shopping haven. Inside you'll find all sorts of stores, from fancy brands like Gucci and Tiffany's to cool Aussie boutiques selling unique jewelry and clothes. There's even a section dedicated to local artisans and craftspeople, so you can find some one-of-a-kind souvenirs. Be warned though, your credit card might get a workout in it. If you're a history buff, the QBB has a cool story too. It was built way back in the late 1800s and was originally a market park. It's amazing to think that people have been shopping and eating here for over a hundred years. The building itself is a work of art. Think high ceilings with stained glass windows, ornate details everywhere you look, and those beautiful old-fashioned elevators with iron gates. It's like stepping back in time to a more glamorous era. While you're shopping or grabbing a bite, take a moment to appreciate the architecture. It's pretty impressive. The QBB also goes all out for special occasions. 
Christmas. At Christmas, the whole building transforms into a winter wonderland with decorations and lights. They even have a giant Christmas tree in the center that's a real crowd pleaser. Throughout the year, they also host events and markets, so there's always something going on. The Sydney Town Hall, right? It's basically the grand old name of Sydney CBD. Think of it as the city's fancy function. Standing right there on George Street, it's hard to miss this grand sandstone building. All those fancy columns and details, it looks like something straight out of a history book. They even have a giant clock tower that pulls every hour, just like Big Ben in the or something. Inside, it's even more impressive. Think grand staircases, high ceilings with beautiful paintings, and maybe even some stained glass windows. It's the kind of place where you wouldn't be surprised to see someone in a ball gown or a top hat, although maybe not on a Tuesday afternoon. But it's not just a fancy show. The town hall is still very much in use. They hold all sorts of important meetings and events, from fancy galas and award ceremonies to council meetings and conferences. If you're lucky, you might even snag a ticket to a concert or a performance in the main hall. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you thought. While you're at it, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'll see you on the next one.